Apple just added a new toggle in iOS 26.1 Beta 4 that makes liquid glass more opaque and reduces transparency. If you have the latest iOS 26.1 Beta, you can just go to Settings and then under Display and Brightness, this is where you'll find the new option. Just tap on Liquid Glass and then choose Tinted. The Tinted option will increase the opacity of Liquid Glass UI elements and improves contrast, while the Clear option is the standard Liquid Glass look that we've been using so far. Now, Apple's new option does look different in both light and dark mode, and it's uh, available across like the lock screen notifications and within apps to make like menu and navigation bars less transparent. So if we go through the music app, podcast, etc., you're going to see that it's less clear and should be easier to read, especially with notifications, maybe. Would love to hear from you on which ones you guys like better. Obviously, we have uh, standard liquid glass and then the tinted option on each side here. So it's a side by side comparison. Let me know which ones you prefer. But I like this option from Apple. It kind of gives you the ability to customize it even more. Apple's been leaning pretty heavily into customization lately, which is great. But this also gives the ability for Apple to lean more heavily into liquid glass as a whole, because now you have this option to fall back on. If you don't really like a lot of the uh, transparency, you can get some of it back by increasing the opacity and moving over to this tinted option. So I like what Apple is doing here, and it gives them more flexibility to be able to experiment more with liquid glass in the future if they want to go maybe back to the way it was with beta one. I know some people, including myself, especially with notifications, really didn't like the look of Beta 1 when it first came out because it was kind of hard to read. But in some areas, I really liked it. And I feel like Apple dialed it back down a little bit because of public uh, kind of outcries about how it was really hard to see some things. And so would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think of this new option? And uh, if you are looking forward to getting iOS 26.1, you'll have to wait until the end of October. That is most likely when the official release should happen. But if you have the newest beta, you can get it right now. Public beta. Uh, should be coming very, very soon with this new option, but it's only for the developer beta as we speak. But we'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think of the new tinted option for liquid glass. This is Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.